Happy May 1st, aka happy birth month. So excited. Oh, I love May. We got a little bit of a situation up in here. We've been back for like a day and a half and it's a freaking disaster in here. All right, you see all this mess. We're gonna, we're gonna fix this. Got some Kimmy Schmidt on the TV. Happy May 1st. Okay, so I need to fold the laundry that Tommy did just before we left. So now we have all of this in the solarium room. I'm gonna fold it, time lapse it, and when that's done, I will take us back into the bedroom to put away all of the stuff in the larger suitcase you just saw me put in that room in the time lapse. So that is the continuation of the cleaning. Now that the floor is all clean, I can do this lawn, this clean laundry there, and Keep watching Kimmy Schmidt. going to the dollar store because we need trash bags and a couple things so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up some mason jars that I can fit my um, lip products in so I can organize them a little bit better here I'm th if they have like containers for that I will mm. like makeup storage is really expensive so I sometimes just try and find other ways to store it but right now with the main products that I'll have and use like eyeliners and mascaras and stuff I don't want to just toss them into a makeup bag I want to actually have them sitting out on my counter in the best way I can eyeshadows I need something to put them into I'm gonna bring one of each thing so I have um like a sample of the height I'm looking for and for the case and yeah Okay, so as you saw, I did a lot of organizing in here as well. So I fixed most of my closet to be more of my summery clothes. There's a couple long sleeve shirts still in here, but all of my dresses are back here. My tank tops are now hung up for the most part. I still have quite a few in that cabinet. Um, and yeah, so pants, I don't really have a lot to keep in here because I don't have a lot of pant hangers. I moved my sweaters up here because I realized I wasn't using this storage, which is pretty funny. I didn't even realize that there was nothing up there. And then in here, I've moved my leggings up. It's kind of dark, I don't know. It'll dust, hopefully. Um, so I've moved my leggings up here, my flowy pants here. These are the rest of my long sleeve shirts that don't belong up with sweaters. My shorts for um, the summer, so jean shorts, my workout shorts, and these are just other tank tops that I didn't hang in there that are more just like, flowy and um, some of them are just camis and then down here I have all of my t-shirts and um, like stuff I wear to sleep and then workout shirts so all of that is there before I go I wanted to show this little art piece that I brought back so this actually has a little bit of a story with it so what happened was I went to New Orleans with my band in high school my senior year and I picked up a piece of art that I brought home and when I saw it when I went back home I was really um, determined to bring it back here because I wanted to hang it up somewhere in our apartment or have it just like a piece of like my trip and a piece of like it's just like travels I have oh no okay sorry I was worried that it started to split anyway so it did start to split oh no okay so this is the um painting and this is who it's by and I couldn't really I can't really read it. I think it says Huang um but it's from 2014 it was right outside of the little <sighs> the square in New Orleans right near Cafe Dumont like I just was obsessed with it so um, I tried to pack it into my suitcase and I did but I used it on the edge so it starts it started to split a little bit so I'm gonna just have to be very careful with it the lighting was interesting in there so I'm just gonna show it one more time out here with the Sun a little bit more so this is what the art piece looks like yeah I'm gonna leave it probably just like against 
I'm gonna, I wanna leave it against the wall somewhere. It actually would fit perfectly right here, um, but I have those pictures hung up and I want it to be somewhere a little bit more um, noticeable, but also we have this huge wall over here um, that needs filled and I don't wanna just put this in the middle of this huge wall if there's nothing else around. So maybe behind the light over here or maybe even on this little wall besides this over here, but yeah. We're starting to just decorate a little bit more, so we're just getting really excited about that. And this was the first step in bringing this back from home. So, yeah. Two hours until class. So pretty outside. Look at me, woo! Okay, okay so uh, my mom, uh, actually my cousin, showed me this product and I was really excited to try it and so I brought some back from home and it's just like all natural powder supplements. It's like super green stuff. So basically put it in your food a little bit and it helps. So there's a skinny protein and then a super green and we're adding it to the drawer of like different things and supplements. There's a little pamphlet that came with it that gives like different recipes what you can add to we're probably gonna put them in our smoothies if I'm being honest because I mean that I'm right that's anyway that I got myself some chips I know I always do we got better plastic wrap we have parchment paper we have two dish soaps because we do the dishes a lot we got trash bags and they're the right size this time and then we got a new pan because the one we have is gross because it was from the last people who lived here and appreciate that we always like put like foil down and stuff but we just wanted a new pan so um here's our new pan last i picked up this little like dollar container it's a, from the mason jar section like i said before i was gonna try and find one of these for my different makeups i brought a makeup with me i only got one just in case it wasn't the right size but i will always be able to find some other way to use these if not for what uh, i intended like i can put like pencils in it or like little decor stuff like I, i'll find a way to make this work if it doesn't work for that so let's see now if it does work so yeah this is it's, it's fine like i i like this and it keeps everything nice and compact Great. Here everything is, so lotions are gonna be stacked. My Olay masks are here. Blush, these have nowhere to go right now, but um, maybe if I find a little flatter thing that I can put them in, I'll do that. But yeah, those are the ColourPop eyeshadows I've had for a while, and um, the Ulta blush that I have. Um, my foundation here that I typically use with the SPF in it, but I have my NARS and my uh, NYX Stay Matte foundation over here. This is just kind of the basket I'm keeping everything in for now that I don't have any other space for. The razors, like I mentioned, these are lotions, deodorant, my hair products, different like pixie mist, and the container that I just showed that all the stuff is now fitting in that I'm going to be using that's like taller in, in stick form. So uh, really happy that that looks really good. And now I'm gonna eat, uh, make some dinner and then go to class. <laughs> First day of class for my third term. Can't believe it, it's here. Okay, I'm all packed up for class. I'm gonna bring a little extra jacket, my purse and my backpack today. Packed all my chargers. Seems like we are, <coughs> oh, excuse me, we are ready to go. First day back, yeah, yeah. Could have used a longer break, but at the same time, I feel refreshed and ready to take on more master's level education. So we're adding ingredients to our smoothie mix. The green powders that I had yesterday um, that I showed after we got back, I brought back from home. So we're gonna blend up our fruit and then I'm gonna put the scoops of this in and also the peanut butter, cause it's just easier. We're gonna clean the dishes, but yeah this first and then that so the peanut butter doesn't get all stuck to the side and 